we intended to make a movie that was really about friendships. And for us, for Paula and I, we really look towards our real life friendships to kind of um, source material, especially there's this thing I think that happens when you kind of like turn 30, where you kind of look back at your friendships that you've had from like high school or college. And you kind of, you know, sense that maybe they're not really at the same level that they once were. And you start to feel like there's a little bit of guilt, but then it's just kind of like reconciling those relationships. And sometimes, you know, some people are okay with the distance. Some people aren't as okay. Um, and so for us, we kind of look towards things like the big chill to, to explore relationships um, as inspiration for, for exploring relationships that kind of have like um, gone to the back burner. And that mixed with a situation where it's kind of a little bit of a life or death situation kind of felt like it could give you both really fun comedy moments and plot, uh, plot points and twists, but also at the core, it really just is about friendships, which I think no matter who you are, you can, can relate to. I feel like whether it's friends from childhood or high school or college or even like cousins or whatever, like everybody has friends that you were super tight with. Um, and then, you know, like 10 or 15 years later, you might not, they might not be the person you text every Saturday night, but when a really rough situation happens, that's the first person you call because you know they have your back. And so I think it was about exploring those relationships. And, you know, maybe if you are somebody who hasn't necessarily kept up those friendships, maybe this movie will make you kind of think fondly on those people and make you want to give them a call. Well, what we did is every time that we thought like what should happen next, we kind of were like, what would we actually do? So we used like truth as our kind of North Star, um, which I don't know what that says about us. That is maybe questionable uh, personality types. But, um, you know, we were able to really use the, the honest truth of reactions of what we'd actually do to kind of guide us through the script. And then... Um, the characters we felt like we knew so well that they kind of naturally gave us like good set pieces and moments and and the character dynamics between them always gave us so much whether it was um, Pippa and Alice kind of bickering or whether it was uh, Frankie and Blair like kind of flirting and like trying to figure out what that relationship was and then just kind of trying to hold them all together. I mean, it, it naturally had so much uh, dynamic character stuff to explore that there was never ever like a moment where we were like what should happen what's a good joke it was like we had too much and we had to like cut it down and down and down and down and down and that's what we ended up with there's a kind of fine balance between wanting everybody to like feel loose and have fun and be free especially when you're talking about having like an ensemble comedy of groups of friends I mean you want it to feel like on screen that they actually are friends so for me it's really important for them to like have that chemistry which I was so like lucky that they had and they actually became friends so quickly um so it was like easy to replicate that on camera um but you know, you don't want to like let it be like a wild, crazy world where everyone's just like goofing around and improvising for 10 minutes and like trying to make the set like the crew laugh because that in the edit never ends up really being something that helps the story. But you also want to have people feel like liberated and free to like kind of explore the character and the lines and like find something in there that maybe wasn't on the page. So trying to like kind of exist in between those lines is really what I try to do. Um, because I mean, even like, there's so many people who come from comedy. There are people who don't necessarily do comedy, but are such good actors that their timing was so good and impeccable that they were able to just really mesh well together. And I think making everybody feel like they were on even footing was important to me because I wanted everybody to feel comfortable. And I, I mean, they were just so easy to work with that they made my job really easy. For me, it's like I'm constantly using my real life experiences to fuel what I'm working on. So for me, if, especially if it's a movie like this about a bunch of girlfriends, like I have a lot of girlfriends and I love them. And so I'm able to actually take my experiences and, and turn it into stuff that's on the page or on the screen. So for me, it just makes sense that the people making content would have experience about what they're making it about. So, I mean, 
I guess to me, it really, and there's nothing, nothing against male writers or directors who write for women, or I mean, that's also awesome because it just gets more female characters out there. But for me, I'm able to just source so much from my real life that it makes sense that there would be more women creating those stories. So let's, let's get to it, you know?